Okay, hi there. Today we're going to take a look at uh, an old game that I found at a thrift store this week. Um, the game is called The Basketball Game. Um, let's see. It's all the thrills of a real game. It's for f sports fans ages 8 and up. It is made by Warren Built Right Games, a Built Right sports presentation. It's for one or two players, and let's open the box and see what's inside. You can tell that I've had to tape up the box since it was in rather poor shape when I bought it. Um, take off the top here. One thing I do want to mention, the directions for play instructions are printed right there on the board edge, or the box top edge and it was in pretty bad shape so I had to do another tape job on it. I also took the liberty of just typing up a sheet of rules or directions for it based upon those directions and this is a result of my handiwork. You know, nothing fancy just some basic, uh, just basically copy the rules off of that box side. So, you don't get that in the game, but you do get this basketball time clock. Uh, looked over the game and the only piece I was missing was the home score indicator. I had the visitor score indicator, I have the basketball, which basically you just put on uh, a random player of your choice from one to five um, and you'll draw a card depending on which quarter it is you'll determine a result based upon the um, player that you picked um, this is the basketball time clock basically it starts here at 40 which is I guess the zero and uh, I can't see it here um, for every play you'll click it one space one space don't count free throws, but other than that, pretty much every <clears throat> play and stuff will count one second. Once you reach 40, I believe you go to the second quarter. I will probably be doing a play-by-play -play of this game after a while, and I'll probably just play one quarter or just a few turns of it or whatever, give you an idea. These are the cards that came with it. I don't know how good I'm going to get a focus on them. Let's see here. Got to trick the old autofocus here sometimes. One more try here. It doesn't look like I'm going to get you a very good shot at this time. But basically, you have the four quarters, and based upon which player you've chosen to pick, uh, to carry the, uh, have the ball. Um, will determine uh, the play based upon the quarter and the card that you draw. And at the bottom there's some special information uh, like for jump balls and free throws. Uh, I'd like a little bit better picture of that, but I think you're gonna... that's about the best I can do. Um, maybe it's better if I put it down here. Eh. Anyway, you get 20 of these cards and that's pretty much it. Pretty simple game. Uh, very well suited to solitaire play. Um, not quite sure how you'd want to do the home or visitors as a solitaire game. Guess you could just randomly uh, pick one. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much the whole game. I'll briefly go through the directions for play. Um, you punch out the markers, shuffle the cards, place them in the center of the court. You'll start the game by jumping center, which is turning over the top card, and checking the bottom of the card to see which team gets the ball. And you'll be looking down here at the jump ball information. Um, play with the ball will place his cardboard basket uh, ball marker on a player that he wishes to shoot. So let's pick number two. And I'll flip these back over. Um, we 
we've done that. Play with the ball. Okay, then turn over the top card and check the card against the number of the player to see the results. During the first quarter, look under the first quarter section on the card. So we're going to flip a card here. It's the first quarter. I place the ball with number two. Number two is a bucket. So we would go ahead and mark that. I don't see, well, here's a scoreboard. Like I said, I don't have, uh, I'm not sure how you're supposed to mark this. I don't have all, don't have the home pieces, so I'll probably uh, manufacture my own um, score keeper pieces. Alright, and you just discard that, and then the other guy gets the ball. Uh, the home team, let's give it to number three. We're going to flip another card over. It's first quarter, we gave it to number three. We miss a shot, and there's no rebound. Um, if a new rebound occurs, the opponent gets the ball. So, basically, it goes back to the visiting team who will shoot with their number one player and I should be adjusting the time clock but too lazy to do that right now and they flip a card first quarter number one uh oh an offensive foul um let's see here does it talk about fouls when a foul is committed the player foul turns over a card for each shot and checks a free throw sequence at the bottom of cut the card for the results. Fouls committed. Player the player foul turns over a card for each shot. I'm not quite sure how many shots you get. But let's turn a card over. At the bottom we have no good, no rebound. So I'm guessing a foul must be maybe two free throws. Um, no rebound on that one. The no rebound says the opponent gets the ball. Well, I don't know that much about baseball or basketball. Heck, I don't even know what game this is. But anyway, um, we flip again and say it's a second shot. And the second free throw would be good and the ball would then turn over to the uh, visit or home team so anyway get a basic idea how it works and we'll see if uh, we can't do a little play-by-play -play of this um, just to give you a, a little better idea of how the game plays so anyway that is an old this is how old is this thing I thought I looked on board game geek and it said 19 50 something so anyway let's just say it's old and nearly complete um, I lucked out for what was it 50 cents 25 cents so anyway I think I got a bargain um, well I think that's about it so we'll talk to you later till then take care